Hello everyone. Uh, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo here in Boca Raton. Uh, this video is a follow-up now of that impression that we've taken of the bone level impression um, earlier in the week. Uh, basically what you're looking at right now is the uh, solid model pour-up now with the transfer coping uh, modified transfer coping in place and uh, so here's the impression as we showed you before we did the pour up so we have two pour ups this is actually the second pour up it's a solid model I'm going to remove now the modified coping and you can actually see the detail that's the replica of the undersurface or the tissue side of this particular modified uh, impression coping now when we zo zoom in on that, we can actually see, you know, you can actually see debris all the way down inside. That's one thing you can see. <laughs> but also you can actually see the detail of the tissue and how it funnels down without any collapse whatsoever. So now the laboratory technician has the option. They can either go with um, making a custom abutment or we can try in the uh, these little plastic trial uh, uh, copings and they all have little numbers on them. This one happens to be a 15A and it's angled at 15 degrees and so we're gonna slide that in place and get an idea kinda how we're we're gonna handle this case. So we know it's gonna be an angled abutment the, the the question is are we going to make a custom or are we going to pull one off the stock shelf and uh, and just modify it somewhat so that we can use that so this case probably what I would do is take a, a replica of this particular item that you can purchase and put it in place and go ahead and prep the uh, the design and 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 the margins the way you would want them so let me show you where we select those copings from. This one happens to be from Strauman. And if you look at the, uh, let me see if I can show you this. This is the the box and that particular item is the uh, 025.4603-04. So that's the 15 degree GH2. So that's a gingival height, two millimeters. Um, if you order this box you will get a number of uh, various sizes and shapes etc to help you with your dentistry um, let me go back to our models now we've got the the uh, mounted case now we this one we're trying to keep it simple so we went with the hinge uh, this is the soft tissue uh, portion that the laboratory needs uh, evidently they need to cut them the model out in order to use it and be able to put it in their hands. So um, again, transfer coping in place. That's pulled out and we're going to try in this particular item and we push that all the way down in place. Now, how do I know that that angle is the right angle? Well, what we have to do is a diagnostic wax up so what I basically do is pull off off a shelf a denture tooth. I put a little bit of tin foil down on the model first. After the tin foil goes down, then we go ahead and wax the tooth in place, and we take an impression of that. We pour a model. This is the pour-up model, and now we make an omnivac on top of that. Now notice on the Omnivac we have three windows cut out because I want to be able to take a periodontal probe and measure the, the actual distance between the outside and the inside. All right, so I know how much thickness. Take away the wax guide and uh, we want to place our angle abutment. We'll put that in place. There are other things that we do, but I'm just trying to give you an idea how we how we approach each case. All right, then we put the 
on the back in place take your periodontal probe and come from each side and and get an idea hey how are we going to handle this case so I did measure it we're about three millimeters from the lingual about two and a half millimeters from the facial and we need to do some occlusal reduction take care of the the margins etc so that's how we approach it every case like that uh, we just don't arbitrarily pick items and use them and and uh, we there is a science to this and, and it's it's been working for for many many uh, years months um, that's about it right now my next series is going to be about bone level again but it's multiple bone level implants and uh, we really appreciate you looking at our videos and if you have any questions feel free to just contact us all right this is dr jerry cuomo here in boca uh... you guys have a wonderful day a wonderful holiday and we will see you next time